Well, it's Monday, folks. It is Monday, and we got a miserable Monday coming up right here. This is the game I talked about on Sunday on Coffee Talk with the guy who's purposely throwing games. And it's old BRM Kane here in his KV5. You'll notice that this is the first time he showed up. We're at about four minutes and some change into the game. His team is losing. He hasn't done anything. And he shows up here, I think I said in the north, unfortunately, on Sunday, but down there in the south, so on the edge of the map. We've done some decent work. I'm in my T43. I've got 1,200 damage. And the KB-5 is doing his thing. So here we go. Taking a look. And I mentioned during the stream, like, oh, there's the KB-5. Well, that's not good. I mean, he's probably got a pretty good opportunity to roll people up over there. That P-43 is a near-dead. So, you know, KB-5 should roll right in there and take him on. So we're just going to fast forward a little bit and see how this battle goes. The enemy team evens it up. We lose some guys. Our dudes are pushing for whatever reason into three St. Mills and a prototype. Go a little bit further. KB-5 still hasn't been spotted. Notice that it's the same old spot right there. Go a little bit further. Trying to take shots on the T-29. RNG absolutely trolls me right here. I, I'm not going to make you watch that. I miss multiple shots on this guy and bounce several others. He just gets away. <laughs> All that kind of stuff right there. I'm simply not able to... Oh, there, finally he gets killed. Moving along, notice the KB-5 has not been found still. So we've got the Defender over there, but he is still messing around. There's a uh, Object 416, Wilderness Watt, or Walt, sorry, Wilderness Walt. He comes in there and he starts working on our poor Defender. Notice the KB-5 is still not been spotted. We'll fast forward. I have to fall back. I'm going back to the cap. Come back here. Hanging out. KB-5 still not spotted. A little bit fast forward again. Got the RHMB, myself, and the P-43. Here comes that guy. Some misses. I have to shoot through that just to get rid of it. I don't get any damage on him, and I've got to get out of here. Unfortunately, I actually get hit by him right there because I don't back straight out like a Muppet and I t get a hammer blow from the Saint Emil too. So all of a sudden I'm down to 379. Fortunately that guy misses. So we'll get back here. And the KB-5 is still not spotted. And really at this point it's the KB-5's game to win. His team's made a nice comeback. Our guys pushed into TDs like Muppets. And now we're all hiding in a corner behind bushes and whatnot. A little fast forward. Oh, there's the Saint Emil. Fortunately, the RHM gets hammered, RHM dies, and now it's just myself and the P-43. And eventually on the stream, I say, you know what, screw it. Let's just go forward right about here, and we'll just push in and see what happens. Come up here, I find the Saint Emil, one of the two. And I'm, I figure, and I said it right here, I said, well, that KB-5 is going to come right down this road now. And if he's been sitting up there camping, surely he's just going to come right down that road and take me out. Funny thing was, on the chat... On, I'll show it you in just a minute, the other team on the chat. One of the St. Mills said, I'm out of ammo. I don't know which one it was. We'll have to look at it. Whether it was this guy, J.P. Foster. Is it J.P.? Yeah, J.P. Foster or M. Carlson. One of them's out of ammo. Fortunately, that artillery actually just does a little splash. Again, I'm surprised this other... I'm surprised this other St. Mill just doesn't drive up. It's a very weird game. I'm surprised the other... Emil doesn't drive right onto me. Artillery's trying to take on this guy. I get hit again by artillery, but only for 26. We're down to 31 seconds. Where is the KV-5? The world wonders. Where is Mr. KV-5? There's one St. Emil. Just shoot as we go. Unfortunately, I don't kill him. The other one is right here by me. It, you know what? It may be that potentially this is the guy without ammo. Does he shoot at me? <laughs> he doesn't. That No, he does have ammo. All right, it must be the other guy that was out of ammo. No wonder he wasn't turning to shoot at me. Come around here. And I'm again, I'm just fully expecting to die. The KB-5 has to be up in those hills somewhere. Two artillery miss. Very lucky on the artillery, but we run out of time, right? Okay, let's go to the other. What, what does old BRM Kane do? This is submitted by John1967. He put it on the forums. And it looks like the KV-5 is moving out smartly. There he goes, KV-5, heading out to do battle. So John comes down here. We'll just fast forward. What's the KV-5 doing? Well, he's still moving. We'll go fast forward. Okay, he's a KV-5. He's slow, still moving. John's taking shot in his Progetto. There's the KV-5. Seems to be lagging the fight a little bit. What exactly is he doing there? Well, he's still slowly moving around. 
go fast forward. There he is. Okay, so he's moving up. Everything seems relatively normal. I mean, it's not a great place to take a KB5, but whatever. Looks like old John 1967's team is quite the camperific team. Look how many guys are all sitting up here. The the few guys that go in are trying to get trying to take on our guys in the north, but you know, <laughs> then John's like, bro, what are you doing? KB5 goes right there. That's where he is. Now let's see. All right, that's fine. So let's go forward. KB5 is sitting there. Still sitting there. Wilderness Walt. Attempting to take on that. That Type 59 crossed over and just died for no reason. That's kind of where the comeback started. We lost that guy crossing over. Would have been nice, but there were so many campers back there, they just completely owned him. You see my last light, the T-43 in the middle. We'll just keep fast forwarding here. Looks like... John 1967 follows Walt for a while, then he goes over to Red Cross here. Look at the KB-5, sitting there. The guy's lit, he comes down and watches the T-29 for a while. T-29 dies, watches the 416 for a while. That's where the 416 gets in there and gets rid of the Defender. Then he looks to come around. This is where he comes up underneath me. Look at the KB-5, is still over there. There he is. This is him. BRM Kane. Drove up here and stopped. And come over here, watch this guy for a bit. Here comes all of the Santa Mills pushing in on us. There's the RHMB, 416, and there's BRM Kane. Oh, wait a minute. We have life. Signs of life. What's uh, Did he do something? He moved an inch forward or so. I'll just go two times speed to see what happens here. What's old Kane doing? Well, it's Monday, so he's just sitting there. Watch the Emils try to push in. There's the KB-5. They're getting shut down. They nuke the RHM. He dies quickly. KB-5 is still sitting there. We'll go even faster. Oh, wait a minute. Or what? No, no, he's still sitting there. Chilling out. All right. They're looking to take me down. Oh, wait a minute. The KB-5 is moving. <laughs> Where's the KB-5 going? Oh, he's headed back to Cap. Perhaps Cap needed protection. I don't know. He might have been worried that Guido was about to get to his Cap. Unfortunately, I'm lit, along with the P-43. So he drives all the way back to Cap. And practicing, I assume, for the races that are coming up, he starts doing laps around the Cap. Well, he's doing laps, just chilling out. There's this J.P. Foster was the one that was out of ammo. He just said it. Driving around the Cap. This M44 takes exception, <laughs> puts a shot on him. Good old BRM Kane shoots back at the M44. And in three seconds later, we have a draw. <laughs> that is some dynamic gameplay right there. That is good. Well, here's a Monday game. Did you like that last one? That was special, wasn't it? This, this one. This, this kind of games like this just happened, but absolutely bizarre. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing, but I want you to watch the... You know, consider the meta of this game. You can see a lot of heavies and some TDs. We're all kind of hanging out up here, all these guys. And we've got all these guys going down south. And I mentioned meta not because I insist that's how every map be played. But that, in general, this map is played in a certain way. But you're going to see the enemy team do something very strange. And it's kind of it's kind of akin to a, an organized meta or an organized team against our unorganized team pub team is kind of interesting what happens you got the TDs going back you got some heavies and I thought well I might be a little light maybe the 252 will come help us but watch this is it and I'm gonna fast forward all right so I come all the way over here and I'm looking around going all right well, what the heck and when I poked the first couple times I didn't get seen by any artillery or sorry TDs so then I move forward and look what's going on what our guys are looking over and look where the enemy team is they're in the town or all the way in the back so I actually get all the way to here I haven't even engaged the enemy yet they're not they're not even defending this part. So we got guys all over the place here. They just fell back. They simply fell back, got onto the back edge of the hill over there, or went down into the edge of the town and just hung out. And now we're trying to expose ourselves here and find shots, and I'm thinking, this should be an absolute slaughter. 
unfortunately, that nice heavily armored guy right there. Let me just fast forward. And pretty soon, I'm going to start to get that forbidding, forbidding feeling, right? Foreboding. Forbidden? Foreboding. <laughs> I try to take a shot on this hawk, and I'm looking at the south going, oh, wait a minute. Where did the team go? Well, their hard push and all of their guys that were supporting down here in the bottom of the town. So they stuffed us by defending hard in hold down spots with heavily armored tanks. Sent a much better, larger force than ours around to the south. And we hung out up here in the high ground without reacting to it fast enough. And it's an absolute slaughter. Which is pretty much a kind of organized strat, right? Hey, a couple of you watch this. Keep them busy in case they rush to the cap. Everything we got is coming down here with support from here. Wipe out any morons they send down here, and then we basically own the map. Well played, red team. That one hurt. That one hurt. I have a whole 736 damage on that one. Man, that was a Monday right there. For those of you who don't think the Manticore is awesome, I submit this. Watch me shoot. I'm just going to take this 430U out. Nice shot. No, we can just ram him. <laughs> what did he do to me? 643. Thank goodness I was full, more or less full hit points. Maybe I was full hit points. Wow, that hurt. 643. <laughs> that wasn't full hit points, but wow. Hey, but I won, right? I won that ram. Good old Monday. Also, you need to see the grinning. <laughs> the grinning manticore. Oh, son of a... <laughs> You knew Monday was going to get me, didn't you? Eventually, Monday was going to get me. All right, let's have the uh, let's have a video of the ELC 90, the fleet-footed ELC 90 in action. Here we go, pushing up here. We've done some great scout action. We're just going <laughs> to. Oops. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, Monday. Well, I guess trolls, hiders, and drowners, and physics abusers are kind of all the rage. Uh, you'll notice this TVP. We're actually in good shape right here. We got 100% TVPs. Been playing very carefully. Let's put it that way. I've got 3,600 in my mana core, 1,500 spotting. We're trying to figure out how to dig out this T30 Sturve and the Maltian. Can't quite figure out a way to get a shot in there. We go. So I drop another. Another 300, the 263 pushes in hard and is in big trouble. I'm looking to do something with my last four shells. Manticore's big weakness, obviously, one of them being no shells. So we can sneak one into the top. I bounce off that weak spot. And the uh, the TVP is running away. So off he goes. TVP, could have used that. Could have come in there and actually assassinated those guys. I end up taking that one down. I've got my two HE shells. I'm at 4,097 damage. We're actually in good shape, right? If we had a TVP that was um, playing the game. So I'm going to run off this way. See if we can get a shot on this guy. Nope, don't have it. Here comes the AMX 50B. He's in pretty good shape. We'll run off here. Good old feeling good has fallen back. We're down to two tanks. And now all of a sudden we're at a disadvantage. We do have artillery. Someone says our TVP is a bot. He says affirmative. Well, clearly not a, a bot. He'd been playing. He's got a kill. Not doing a whole bunch. Kind of hanging back most of the time. But right at the critical phase, runs off. And we'll come around here. And, you know, I say, I say bots and hiders and whatnot. But really, this one is just a Monday drowning, basically. We get the 50B cruising here. I'm thinking, all right, 50 TP. Let this guy have it. Oh, no, he's uh, he's still running. He's down. It's <laughs> down to the corner. Down the corner, people are uh, want to lose. He says want to lose. So he goes down there and hangs out, and I'm thinking, well, that's it for me. Me and my two HE shells on my Manti core. Let's see what we can do. We got 4,000 damage. We're going to give it the old college try. Then we'll see what our TVP buddy is doing down there once it's all over so we'll just speed this up because it happens pretty quickly waiting for them to show up where are they come on fellas where are you surprised they aren't coming out they're probably worried about the tvp to be quite honest they don't know the tvp is just hiding so i get a shot on the 50b not a whole bunch i don't get spotted which kind of amazed me a little bit come on up in here he's going after our artillery maybe i'll get lucky and get a really big he roll and then the rd will nuke him nope i won't get a big he roll 
Artie does not nuke him. <laughs> if he did nuke him, he didn't do much. And now I'm just trying to get away. There's a miss. No, I am not going to survive the T30. So T30 dies, or sorry, T30 kills me. I die. The Artie dies, and our TVP buddy is go back to one time speed, and I go find him. <laughs> and there he is, feeling good. He's feeling good. He's he's in the uh, he's in a bush, or by the water. I say thanks. He says, oh, I can't bring the chat up. Hopefully somebody says something else. So, I just do not want to die. <laughs> I call him a troll because that's what he is. Absolutely. Just hanging out. We'll just go fast forward because eventually. And down he goes. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Awesome. That's Monday in a nutshell. Could have won that game, actually, had even actually playing. Well, there's a little fun little sequence here. This Progetto 4.6 is behind me. I'm sitting in this bush with Disturb. I got all kinds of issues with packet loss going on. Let's see if we can get this thing going here. Progetto comes up. I'm getting all kinds of stutter. I know there's a STA and a WZ up there, so I'm waiting. All right, well, maybe he'll get some lights. The... EBR 75 FL10 gets in there, gets a shot on him. Now he's backing out. He's way out in the open. I'm thinking, all right, something's going to show up. Oh, shoot, there it is. And then packet loss. Ah, geez. So I just can't quite get there. So he takes a hit and he backs out. He's He's been up to this point completely behind me. Back up where that other medium behind me is, right? So he backs out of this thing. Goes down here. Stops so we can type. Sturb, awesome cover, bro. You are watching one spot. Well, yeah, I'm uh, I'm holding this flank over here. I've got two tanks there, and he still shot me. Well, he still shot you because you were out in the open, and you didn't either commit to go up there and take them on, or get into the bush here with me and look for shots on these guys. So, I don't, so he leaves me, heads over there. We're winning. He pushes in to help these guys swarm all over the two that are down in the town who have no hope so he rages in there looks like he gets a kill yeah gets a kill in the t27 takes some more shots so i'm sitting here in this bush with me and my packet loss chilling out and i've got now oh, there we go let's show you what i'm doing with my camera sitting here i say oh man was your camping behind me disturbed <laughs> and then the classic response <laughs> he comes in here Ha ha. <laughs> and then it gets better. It gets so much better. Because he informs me that he has a seven skill crew and he's better off alive than dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that packet loss. It's just stutter step as I go up. Clunk, clunk, clunk. I can EBR gets a shot of me on the side. Seven skill crew. I'm better off alive than dead. Well, he's not wrong. I mean, everyone's better off alive than dead. I was not aware, though, that I was supposed to cover every move that the camping Progetto made up until the point that he drove out into the open and wandered into a shot. That's <laughs> DA1, which he blamed on me because I don't know why. Because my TD was supposed to be farther forward or I don't know what. Actually, I missed that shot. He is right about that. But holy cow, what a ridiculous statement. That's, that is some Monday stuff right there.